the wheel. So after 40, you get the impression that we're old now, we can't do deadlifts and we shouldn't do deadlifts. Plus, doctor told me my back was too out of shape to do deadlifts. We're not asking you to go against your doctor, but I am gonna tell you this. In general, a lot of times, the very thing that you think is worst for you is actually best for healing, especially deadlifts. Again, don't go against your doctor's ad advice. If you've got some specific condition that says don't deadlift, I get it. But those of you that still have question marks on that, let me tell you, deadlifting is the shit. You still need to deadlift, and man, you ought to. But I have some thoughts for you. Well, if you've got some pain anyway, I have some thoughts for you. How to make that deadlift experience a little more comfortable for a while until we can get you all the way to the ground. Watch this. Here's how I'd do it. If I had back pain, really bad back pain, I'd pull those weights a little higher off the ground than most of us are used to, right? The pain really gets you when you get way over here. So let's not go for now way over here. One more little piece of advice, watch this. This is how you do it, right? Do this barefoot, it gets you closer to the ground anyway, right? It lowers you, plus I think there's something to feeling the ground underneath you that makes your back contract harder. I can't prove that, I know that's bro science, but there are a lot of people that study the feet that will tell you that the nerves in your feet tell your body how to stimulate a movement. So we'll just trust them. I don't know for sure. What I can tell you is when I deadlift, man, it helps me a ton to just go barefoot. Now, we'll just do the same setup that you've always known. The same setup that it is, you'll crowd that bar, keep it as close to you as you can. Grab the bar just a little with your shoulders just a little in front and make sure that you pick it up with the lats engaged. Engage those lats. Remember, those lats go all the way around your back from thoracic clear to lumbar, and if they're tight, it's like wearing a weight belt, right? The bar's a little taller, you got your feet stripped down, engage the lats over the bar, stand up here, and do that weight, do that deadlift to a four inch weight, right? If that hurts, go a little higher than that. If that hurts, go a little higher than that. And then what happens is you just keep lifting that guy, doing your reps in your pain-free range of motion for all the reps that you can. Check it, see if it feels pretty good. Next time, before you add weight, before you ever add weight, just go to a two-inch platform. Go to a one-inch platform. And then eventually, you work your way down to the floor where you're engaging all the way from the floor and up. Again, Deadlifts are important. It's a functional movement. It's something that you do every single day of your life. It's not reasonable to say, I'm never gonna pick anything up off the floor again. You are, I promise you will. And so we train in the gym the way our bodies act outside of the gym. Deadlifts are important, do them. Plus, they have a lot of health benefits. Just a thought for you guys and gals over 40.